Micron produced ice hockey equipment in the 1980s and were based in Canada. The company was eventually purchased by Bauer Hockey in 1994. Topic: <laughs> Products. They were probably best known for the Mega range of ice skates and most notably the Micron Mega 10 to 90, Micron Mega 10 to 70 and Micron Mega 10 to 50. They invented power clip technology which they claimed to give increased power to the skater the power clip was a white plastic square attached to the sole of the boot on the inside of the foot and had the first 3 for small medium sizes or 4 for large sizes lace holes of the boot in it the design of the boots made the skater lean forward slightly when skating which company claimed improved balancing of weight when skating backwards. They were often used by ice hockey players that played defense. The 10-50 versions were the mid-range junior skates sizes 1 to 5 and 10-70s were the mid-range adult skates sizes 6 and up. They were comparable to the Douse 301 or the Bauer 200 series and used similar construction materials. The 10-90 model came in two completely different configurations, Street and Pro. Within the Pro version there were two configurations, an early, initial version and a later modified second, final version. The early version of the 10-90 Pro red stripe was distinguished by a white chevron on the ankle quarter area. On the final modified version, the chevron was black and there was a small notch added to the lacehole area between the third and fourth eyelets, intended to improve front to rear ankle movement. Also added was an improved tongue. The Mega 10-90 came in two versions, the retail store. Street version and the specialty store Pro version, distinguished by the red stripe down the side of the skate boot. The Pro versions were priced at $350 to $400 in the early 1990s, and came with a Pro level rear quarter package and a thicker tongue. The Pro version was available with either the one-piece ICM holder lower price option and carbon steel blade combo or the TUUK holder that provided the option of using V2 stainless blades highest price option or standard stainless steel blades. The V2 blades, which were only available for two years in the early 1990s, were about half the thickness of a standard blade and very similar to that used by Olympic speed skaters. At the front or toe end 1 to 1 inches of the blade, the steel was regular thickness, which the company claimed provided a kick when changing direction or starting from a dead stop. Due to high cost and high selling price to produce these blades and the poor acceptance at the pro level, they were eventually discontinued. The Micron Mega 10-90 Pro version also had an inner boot with soft lambskin leather and memory gel ankle padding. The 10-90s were available in a wide range of widths as they catered to the high-end player who wanted an exact fit. They were particularly designed for taller, heavier skaters. Micron Mega 10-90 skates were used at various points by such NHL players as Mario Lemieux, Ray Burke, Cam Neely, Pavel Buer and Bernie Nichols. The Mega 10-90 Pro version skates remain sought after for play and by collectors 15 years after being discontinued. Nike, Inc. bought out Bauer Canstar in the late 1990s. The replacement skate for the 10-90 was the Canstar Bauer Mega Air 90 the term Mega was dropped the following year. Bauer did not use the last or basic footbeat of the original Micron Mega 10-90 in the production of the Bauer Mega Air 90 or the Bauer Air 90. 